Hello, my name is Carl Sarri and this is a video tutorial for two Facebook groups, one being the fans of Serif Software and the other one Affinity Designer and Photo Group. Now I'm making this video to sort of clear up a bit of confusion which I have personally had recently with importing exporting macro files because I was discovering that my, I was exporting macro individual macro files in the .af macro file format and I was posting them on the two websites uh, Facebook groups and people were saying that they couldn't install them so when I looked into this on forums and what have you and questions on the um, groups it came back that because when you're importing them it looks for dot af macro but with an s on the end um, so it seemed to be like exporting in one format but needs to import in a different format now with the help of Mary Lou um, I've been able to sort out how that works um, so a very big thank you to her um, so I'm just going to quickly try and clear up this problem so these are some macros most of them I've made there's one collection here made by Bill maybe who of the um, affinity design and photo group um, and as you can see a lot of these the individual macros are they finish with the extension dot af macro but with no s on the end but this one here is af macro but with the s on the end so if you've opened up the macro library tabs which you can do from clicking on view going to studio and putting a tick in macro and then going back to the this and putting a tick into library so if you've opened the library um, on the library tab and you come to the little um, icon up here on the right click on that and you come to import macros it will look for macro collections which is the dot af macro but with the s on the end it cannot see the individual macro um, uh, you know, the single macros only the collections of macros so I just cancel that here but if you go to the macro tab and this icon here on the end where it says import this will see the individual macros because this is the AF macro format but without the S on the end and it cannot see the collections so if it's an individual macro that you want to install you do it from the macros tab and this import button here and uh, Mary Lou did also say that for this to work you have to have a an image open um, I don't think you can do it without not having an image open so it doesn't matter what the image is you can just open up any old image and import the individual um, macros but if it is a collection like Bill Maybe's um, pencil collection or the Boca one that I made um, you can do it via the library tab it's very confusing why Serif have made sort of two different formats but this is how to get around and to use each format and it's sort of also when you are saving um, a collection because if you can come to say if I wanted to save this one again the Boca ones that I made rather than go to the menu icon up here you go to the 
menu icon that's next to the name and then you go to export macros and then it will try and save it in the .af macro with the S on the end format but on the macro tab if you have a macro open and you go to export it will try and save it in the AF macro without the S on the end so the thing you need to remember is if it doesn't have an S on the end of the .af macro file format it is exported and imported via the macro tab but if it has an S on the end it is exported imported via the library tab I'm hoping that all makes sense it's a little bit confusing I know but I think once you've worked out what does what it does make complete sense so thank you for watching and goodbye